guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here for two reasons today. First, I wanna thank you guys. As of yesterday, it was my birthday, and also, you guys got me to 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. I think that's really cool, and I thank you guys for being super interactive. So, because we hit that 2K mark, what I'm going to do is give away a fragrance that I have talked up quite a bit because I love it, obviously on this channel, um, and I think I've gotten a lot of you guys to buy it. But for those of you who haven't, or who want a backup bottle, because I feel like you have to have a backup bottle of this, why wouldn't you? I am going to do a giveaway of this puppy right here, Darige Pour Homme. And I mean, I feel like if you have a bottle, you already know this is one that you definitely need a backup bottle of. It's really good. Whenever I pass by it, I like to smell it. So I was like, you know what, because I've talked this one up probably more than most other fragrances. I feel like this is the most appropriate fragrance for this giveaway. So all you have to do is wait until the end of the video and I'm gonna tell you how to get in on this giveaway. Nice little teaser, fun. Um, and then also stick around because I'm going to review Pac Orban's One Million Privé. So the reason I even picked this one up because I wasn't really sure that I wanted to, is someone said, hey, it might be getting discontinued soon, and my new thing is if I think something might get discontinued, I'm gonna just buy it, because the one or two times that I thought something was gonna get discontinued and I didn't buy it automatically, I definitely caked myself for it at the end, so I thought, let me just go ahead and do it. So let's talk about the scent of this. When this opens up, you're gonna get a pretty good dose of the mandarin orange, as well as the cinnamon, they're both in the open. The cinnamon kind of gives it like a freshly baked apple pie feel, but with the freshness of that mandarin. And then the other thing that you're gonna smell in this is the tobacco, but it's a sweeter tobacco. And then you're gonna get the tonka in the base. The tonka makes this a pretty sweet fragrance. The cinnamon kind of has some sweetness too, but I think it's maybe the combo of the cinnamon and the tonka. To me, this does come off as a sweet fragrance. I know some people don't think so, it doesn't have the same playful, like, club banger vibe as One Million Lucky. I think it's just got some sweetness, like apple pie sweet, not like super candy sweet, nothing like that. I do get like that, again, in the open, I get that fresh, freshly baked apple pie with some freshness to it, with the tonka. Uh, the patchouli is in here, you can kind of smell it, but it's not a very strong note, and it's a clean patchouli. Performance, what am I gonna get out of this? Well, I wanna say I get around seven hours on average with this. This is not something that's gonna scream off your skin. I feel like uh, in terms of projection, One Million Lucky is kind of a bigger scent cloud. However, I think One Million Lucky is supposed to be kind of more of a club banger, and I think this, I think what they meant to do with this is kind of make it more of a subtle date night fragrance. So people are going to smell it. It's just gonna sit slightly closer. It's not gonna be too loud. It's not gonna be too abrasive, anything like that, but it is gonna smell good. Who can wear this? I think anyone can wear this. I don't think that there is an age range for this at all because I do think it's sweet enough for someone young to wear. I do think that if you don't like sweet fragrances, you probably won't like this. I know a lot of you guys think that this is kind of like the less sweet one and it definitely is less sweet than Lucky. And again, Lucky is like, more of a playful, younger vibe. This is for someone who maybe isn't super into Lucky, or maybe does like Lucky, but wants something for a date night that's just not so loud, not as obnoxious. Lucky is a good kind of obnoxious to me, but I think maybe if that's the vibe you're going for, that's what you're gonna want. I know it's marketed for men, but this is a sweet fragrance, so I think women that do kind of like a sweet tobacco vibe, are probably gonna like this. I'm telling you, it has like kind of an apple pie vibe in the beginning, so I actually think that this is gonna appeal to a pretty large audience. Do I think this is gourmand? I think you, if you have really sweet skin, it could sweeten this into a gourmand, and I wanted to claim that because off of my actual skin, this goes pretty sweet. But if I just spray it on clothes, it's not as bad. I, th I do get a little bit more freshness when I spray it off my clothes and it won't sweeten quite as much. I do think that if you do have that skin that leans super sweet, this could go into that territory more in the open. I think as it dries down, it's gonna stay sweet, but it doesn't have that gourmandish vibe. I really only get that in the open when the cinnamon is super strong. The cinnamon carries through, but it, to me or off of me, 
it doesn't stay quite as strong as it is in the opening. It kind of tames down a little bit throughout the day. And I like it. I think it's nice. It's a nice little spicy vibe. When can you wear this? Fall, winter. The reason I'm bringing this to you today is because because of that opening and that kind of freshly baked apple pie vibe that I get right off the open, I thought this would be a really cool Thanksgiving fragrance. So I was like, you know what? I should bring this review while I'm doing the giveaway video. Timing couldn't be more appropriate. That's my opinion. I know a lot of you guys may not have the same skin chemistry as me, so it may come off a little bit different. I mean, obviously, if you have a different experience, drop that down below. I do kind of get curious, because I know a lot of people, things that I say go sweet on me, you guys say, like, you don't get sweetness in it at all. And, I mean, that's why I think skin chemistry to me is, like, this, like, crazy mystery. You never know how something is going to smell off of you. And that's why when I smell something in store, I don't use strips. If I want to know if I'm going to buy it, I use skin because it's a huge difference. Now that I'm off that rant, compliment factor. Uh, yeah, I was told this smelled really good on me um, by a woman at work, of course, because I don't really go anywhere and those are my test subjects now. But she said it smelled really, really good. And I was like, okay, really, really good is good enough for me. But it's not like a screamer and we do wear masks, so I'm not gonna be able to get the amount of compliments that I'm used to getting and giving you guys. Again, once I can wear all these newbies in the real world, I give you guys a better idea of it. But right now, I do know that the few people that did smell it on me said it smelled really good and they liked it a lot. They enjoyed it. No one thought it was obnoxious or abrasive or anything like that. Price, the tester of this was like, I think around $50, maybe a little bit less on fragrancebuy.ca. If they still have the testers of these, I'll drop that down below. If not, I'll drop whatever I can find on this fragrance down below. And now to the giveaway. So all you have to do to participate is obviously be subscribed to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment down below, after you like this video, of course, that you wanna be entered and give me your Instagram handle. This got too tough to actually chase you guys down. So if you give me your Instagram handle and you're following me on Instagram, I can just go ahead and shoot you guys a message for whoever wins. That would be the easiest. Again, it's going to be a 100 ml bottle of Dorige Pour Homme. It smells delicious if I do say so myself. So again, be subscribed to the channel Follow me on Instagram. My handle is down below. It's at Glam Find. It's super easy. Like this video and comment that you want to win and your IG handle. Easy peasy. Easy as pie. See what I did there? As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.